Officials with the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office say the victims from Sunday's EAA crashes have been recovered from Lake Winnebago. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating after four people were killed in two separate crashes. Tonight, the wife of one of those victims is talking. CBS 58's Frank Healy has the story. Sheriff's officials say the majority of that T-6 Texan World War II aircraft that crashed into Lake Winnebago here have been recovered at this time, and as such, recovery operations on the lake are not continuing as we learn more about the people who died over the weekend. He said, I hate to tell you this, Grammy, but Babby has passed away. That's what they called him. I just screamed and said, no, he's not. No, he's not. Patty Voles, Thomas Voles' wife, says that's what she said when she heard that her husband, 72-year-old Thomas Voles, died. 69-year-old Mark Foley also died in the crash. Officials say he was the pilot and Thomas was the passenger. Patty says she was told they might never know exactly what happened. It was a horrific accident. They were hit by a gyrocopter from underneath as they were coming in to land. YAA President Jack Pelton had this to say after the deaths over the weekend. I want to take the time to, to uh, express our condolences to the, all the affected parties and the, the accidents that we had on one on the, on the field and one over the lake. The other incident where a Texas T-6 World War II airplane crashed into Lake Winnebago left 30-year-old Devin Riley of Guadalupe, Texas and 20-year-old Zach Collymore dead. Riley worked at the Texas Warbird Museum. According to the museum, she grew up dreaming of being a pilot one day just like her dad. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating both incidents. Those are never easy to deal with. Um, our communications team will continue to keep everybody posted with any of the additional facts as they unfold. For family members like Patty, they now have to make arrangements. She says they'll be flying Thomas's ashes back to Ohio. So he'll make his last flight in about five days. Devin Riley was also the daughter of two-time Super Bowl champion Bruce Colley. In Oshkosh, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News.